I wish I had, but <laughs> uh, not really, actually. I mean, um, what I can't do is uh, to force myself to write, uh, e even if I don't know what I I'm going to write, you know. So I, I need, uh, I always need a shift. Uh, I need a, a starting point, you know, an idea. Uh, and most of the time I write when I don't expect I will write, you know, I'm just thinking about my book, about ideas, about my researches and until uh, until uh, a point that, okay, uh, maybe I should write it down just to remember, you know, and so I just want to, to write down a few ideas then I open my computer, then I start writing and then, uh, almost without I realize it, I start writing, you know, and two hours later I just realize, oh cool, I mean I wrote two pages. <laughs> so no, I, I, I'm not that kind of writer who uh, decides that uh, every morning from 9 to, to, to 11 I will write, then I'll have a lunch, then in the afternoon from 2 to 6 I'll write again. No, I can't do that. There is definitely there is a story in the book, you know. So that's why maybe uh, uh, essay w would be um, uh, limiting, you know. Uh, but um, no, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I mind more when people just say it's a fiction because it is not actually, you know. It's a it's a, it's a true story, and it is an essay about. Uh, how fiction can work with history. It is a very complicated issue actually, you know, and so this is what I wanted to show in my, in my book and uh, that's why I, point, I pointed any time I made fiction in the book, which is n not that much actually, I mean it's less than, um, I think it's maybe, it's maybe 15% of the book, I wouldn't say more. Uh, Any time I, I, I made fiction in the book, I, po I pointed it, you know, and I made it um, an object of discussion. Oh yes, I mean, as, as, a, as a kid at school, I always believed that that distinction was um, usually uh, artificial. Um, or not very relevant and I mean maybe I was wrong I mean in certain cases uh, in cer certain cases I was wrong but my idea was most of the time the narrator is not the author but yeah it's I mean I, I, I felt that it was useless to, to invent such a narrator at least in France Many people they believe that it's like uh, uh, um, like a code for lit literature. You know, if you don't have a narrator, you don't make literature. You know, so you, they, they believe that they have to invent a narrator, even if in I mean in many cases it's I think it doesn't it doesn't add anything. You know, to the story. No, it's not, of course. It's not so. It's not the, the, the point is not to, to, pre to, to be objective because it's not possible. So the point is not to pretend to be objective and so to show uh, how subjective you are. That's why I show, uh, that's one reason why I show up as, uh, as, a, as the author. You know, like I just, I don't want the reader believe that what I say is the truth forever, you know, so I mean I try to be the most honest I could with the facts but when I comment, when I give you my uh, opinion, uh, I want you to know that a bit who is talking to you, you know, like I like that idea that the, um, a, no a novel is a story but is also a conversation between the author and the reader.
In a way, it's a fight, but like in a friendly game, you know, it's uh, that you, you have to, to keep in mind that your editor is not your enemy. So you have to trust yourself, and at the same time, you have to trust him. So of course, when you disagree, uh, it, it's uh, it's complicated. It's you really have to to reach to to get some distance. You know, you, you have to be able to read your own work as. Uh, you, uh, you're not the one who wrote it, you know, and uh, so the editor can help you, you know. Um, so you have to listen to to him always, but at some point, you have to decide, you know, you have to decide. Okay, so uh, he's right or he's not right, you know. It's it's a, it's a complicated process actually.